I just got out of jail and now I'm back again at the Committee for Armed Services because General Austin is still here. And as long as there are war criminals in the People's House, we have to confront them. Secretary Austin, we have to stop the genocide. We have to stop the genocide. Please, Secretary Austin, can you do something to stop the genocide? Israel, there's over 35,000 people that have been killed, mostly women and children, and now they're being starved. I beg of you, Secretary Austin, please do something. And you know they're not complying with U.S. law either. They're violating the Foreign Assistance Act, and they're violating the Lady laws. Don't we need to support U.S. laws before we can give weapons to a country? Secretary Austin, the State Department is releasing documents that we are breaking international humanitarian law. You have to know this, sir. And there's some part of you that has to care. We're appealing to your we need to stop morality, your love for children. Secretary Austin, so many children being killed. They're killing innocent children every single day. Secretary Austin. We got a chance to talk to Secretary Austin as he was leaving the armed services hearing. And I don't think anybody in that whole entire four hours of hearing said anything to him like we were saying, which is he has the power. He has blood on his hands. He has to stop these weapons from going to Israel. I was in the hearing briefly um, and he was mentioning the success of rushing transfers to Israel at the beginning of this war, getting them undercover. I mean, it, and when he's saying that, all I can think is, you are proud of your complicity. You are proud of the fact that we have been breaking domestic and international law to get weapons to Israel. It has to stop now. The invasion of Rafah is already happening, but Netanyahu has vowed to escalate. And the fact that we have the International Criminal Court bringing charges against Netanyahu and it is our government trying to block that and still arming this country is despicable. It makes me shame to be an American at this time. It has to stop now.